Hey man, God bless. How you doing tonight? Uh, coming to you real quick. Uh, tired. It's real tired today. Been up since like 3 in the morning. It's rough. Gotta get up at 3 in the morning again. Then the next night, 2.30. It's tough. Not easy. But I they have 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You ready to wait on the Lord? Amen. You ready to wait on the Lord? He is, uh, he is the God of the Creator of heaven and earth. You ready to wait on Him? You ready to wait on Him? You ready to wait on Jesus? You ready to run and not be weary, walk and not faint? Renew your strengths and mount you up like eagles. Sounds good to me. Wait on the Lord and that happens, right? Don't wait on the Lord and it doesn't happen. <laughs> as simple as that. Calling on Jesus, right? Calling on the Lord. Calling on Jesus. And he will he will give you strength. It says uh Isaiah forty one ten. I'm not even I'm like looking at this though but looking at the word and it says uh fear not for i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand behold all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish you shall seek those who contend with you but you shall not find them those who war against you shall be as nothing as all. For I, the Lord your God, holds your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I am the one who helps you. How can you read those words or listen to those words and, and not think, Wow. Wow. If I put my trust and faith in God, right, uh, this is, this is going to happen. This is, you know, we're talking about thousands of years ago, right? Like a few thousand years ago. It's a bunch of generations even before Jesus walked this earth. So it has to be about a few thousand years ago. Right? It's when they were, they were living in exile. These are the words that came out. What do you think he's not talking to you too? He's talking to me and talking to you. So he's talking to all of us. It's the word of God. You know, these, these words might have been written thousands of years ago. You know, even the New Testament 2,000 years ago. Jesus died, like, all this, they're still talking to us today. They're not talking, you're not just talking to the people back then. This is the word, God's word. This is the so most number one selling book of all time, right? It's still talking to you today. Has to be for a reason. Has to be. Right? Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. Help us to be to hear your words, to read your words, and let us let us sink into us, Lord. And reading these words that I just read, like how can you not? Like He says that I'm I'm with you. You you, you, you believe in me, and I got your back. It's not it's not <laughs> it's over. It's over. Like, nobody can stand against him. Yeah, the devil walks around like a like a prowling lion. But he's like a prowling lion. It says in Peter five eight. I'll read those, I'll read the exact words, right? And it says, uh, excuse me, I'm going to get there. I am. It does. It takes me a second, though, but I'm going to get there. There's Peter 5, 8. That's John. John. Here, here's one. Here's one. I'm right into you. This is one John. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Here we go. Let me get there. I got that. I was reading those words, right? 
That's what this is telling us. Here we go. Peter 5, we'll start from 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that you, at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. He's telling you, cast all your anxieties on him. Jesus said, do not do not be anxious about tomorrow, right? You got enough words today. And he's telling you, and Peter's telling you, because well, Jesus says it too. He, he wants to, he carry your burden. He died for your sins. He took that beating, right? Took everything, nailed to the cross. He, want, he wants you to believe in him, right? So here, here we go. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Yeah. That guy walks around, prowls around like a roaring lion. But he ain't. He'll get you. He'll get you. Believe me, he's got me time and time again. You know? But once you have Jesus, he ain't getting you. He still wants to get you, but he ain't—he ain't a lion. He prowls around like a horror lion, but let me tell you, God is lion. He is the king of the jungle. Jesus Christ is the king of kings, Lord of lords. Ain't nobody. He is the lion, the lion of Judah, right? And that's who he is. Rest him, resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that same kind of suffering are being experienced by by your brotherhood throughout the world. See, everybody experiences all this stuff. We're not, we're not alone. And after you have suffered a little while, the great, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore, confirm, strengthen you, and establish you. To Him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Right? Stand firm in that faith. Have faith in Jesus. You know we're gonna go through our trials and tribulations. Everybody is. You know, going through stuff right now. You know, it's just. It's, sometimes life isn't easy, but you put your trust in Him. That's what it is. You put your trust in Him, and He He will He will restore you. He's gonna restore you for everything. He is everything. Everything He'll restore you. Have faith in Him. He will go before you. He's got your back once you believe in him and feel him. You feel him in your heart. He got your back. He's got my back. I know he does. He's got my back and he's going to go before me. And fight in any battle. Right? Listen, God is good. God is good all the time. He's so, he's so good. You know, he's so good. So, so good. I just pray for all of you out there. You know, that... That you become, that you become believers. That you put your trust in Jesus. You accept Him as your Lord and Savior. All right? Say this prayer with me if you want to accept Him as, as your Lord and Savior. Say it with me. Father, I know I am a sinner, and I ask you. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your Son. I believe He died for my sins, and that you raised Him to life. I want to trust him as my savior and follow him as Lord from this day forward. Guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this in Jesus' name. Oh, I pray it in Jesus' name, Father. I just, I just hope, I just pray that somebody out there will just, you know, accept you as, accept you as Lord and Savior, Jesus. Oh, that the Holy Spirit will come upon them and they will just, you you just renew their strength like an eagle, right? That they will run and not be weary. That they will walk and not faint. Oh Lord, that you just bless them, Lord. That you just bless them and renew their lives. Renew all our lives, Lord. That you are the God. Of, that you are our leader. That you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. That you will go before us no matter what, Lord. In our darkest days, that you will go before us. We'll go through our trials and tribulations. But you will be there, Lord. You will be fighting for us. You will guide us through it. You just got to put your, we pray that we just put out faith in you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And on that note, I will say, God bless you. If nobody told you they love you, I do. I love you and God loves you. 
God loves you more than you know. More than I know. And John, it says God is love. There's no other love like it. It's only a godly love. Amen. God bless.